Hi, my name is uh, Rigo. I am a poser artist. I've been working with poser for four years. Uh, this will be my second tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a, a face morph using uh, James Poser 6, which is my favorite character to use to make my characters. Uh, you can use anybody else you'd like. You can use the freak, um, uh, Michael, uh, Victoria, any other. Uh, I'm just going to show you the basics on how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is select James character. Okay, wait for that to load and there's our James character. Okay, and James Poser 6. Next thing we're going to do is minimize our Poser program and right click on the black screen or whatever screen you have. What we're going to do is we're going to add a folder to your desktop, new folder name James heads okay we've created a folder on a desktop called James heads the next thing we're gonna do is go back into the poser and we're going to go to file we're going to export wavefront OBJ single frame and we're going to deselect everything in here except and make sure that everything is deselected except for the head. We're going to click OK and then this other window is going to open and we're going to select add morph target and we're going to deselect weld body part seams. We're going to click OK to that. Okay now we're going to name this James head 1 we're going to save it. Okay. Now that's going to be, we're going to minimize this. And we're going to look in here. And as you can see, we have two files a material file and an OBJ file, which is the geometry that we just saved from James. Now you're going to, uh, you're going to need ZBrush 3 or ZBrush 2 or whatever ZBrush you may have for this tutorial so we're going to go into ZBrush this is where we're going to create our morph target the first thing we're going to do is click on the ZBrush icon open ZBrush up and go into import OBJ file now we're going to go to desktop you know look for our desktop up here okay desktop and we're going to look for James heads James heads okay we're going to open that file and then it's going to open the folder and you're going to select James head 1 and you're going to click open and there you have it there's the James head that we saved earlier from poser now as you can see I can if for those of you beginners that have never used ZBrush, um, there's two important things that you need to know. When you right click, you open your tool paddle selections. Okay? When you left click and hold and drag, you move your geometry in any direction you want, basically. Okay? So now that we have those two things established, the next thing we want to do is start our our uh, geometry altering. So we're going to right click on the mouse which opens our paddle. We're going to make our draw size a little bit smaller. Right click again and lower our intensity to about 9, 10. Let's try that out and see what that does on the figure. Now as you notice I'm clicking and dragging right on the figure which this causes the deformation that we want to make or the draw that we are drawing or altering geometry geometry actually that's what we're doing altering geometry we're gonna make some weird alien looking guy here just for demonstration purposes it's gonna be just a quick quick little alter here okay alter the cheeks Alter the chin. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to go up to the um, brush or pretty much the tools palette. That's what I like to call it. And you got all these different brushes in here. And we're going to select the steak hook. Or is that snake hook? I can't see. Snake hook. We're going to pull on the ear. And then we're going to pull on the other ear. Now we could. We could keep pulling, but I think that's good enough. Okay, so we've pretty much made our deformation. Um, if you make a mistake, just press Circle Z, Circle Z again, and as you can see, the geometry is back to where you started. We're going to go back here and select the standard brush. Do a little fiddling with the nose. If you select the draw size, you can actually do some pretty interesting stuff. Make weird little bumps and vein like things. Now, you don't want to do any subdivisions or anything because it will change the geometry, causing it not to work with the James figure. But that looks pretty good. And that pretty much gives us an idea of what we can do with ZBrush and Poser. Straighten that out a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So I'm satisfied with this. So now we're going to go up here on your right hand side and click on Export. And we're going to change the name of the head to James Head Morph. and save it and that's it we're done with ZBrush I'm gonna minimize it and leave it open just in case there's any mistakes or anything I like to do that we're gonna go back into uh, Poser Smith Micro and select the head and now we have the head selected in our paddle as you can see okay all these are your parameter dials uh, for the head and we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into object load morph target and then we're gonna press this uh, file right here and there you see James head one James head morph OBJ okay that obviously James head morph OBJ is the one that we just created if you don't see this in here you can go to your desktop that's why we put the file on our desktop and search for it on our desktop find the file open it up and click on James head morph and open and click OK on that <coughs> And here we see the a new parameter dial with the head morph on it. And now by moving the dial to the right, we will create our morph. And we've just created some weird looking alien guy. Almost looks like a Klingon. He didn't have pointy ears and that weird chin. Okay. And this is pretty much showing you how you do a head morph. This will be the end of my second tutorial. My name is Rigo, and I'd like to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on head morphs using Poser and ZBrush. Uh, you can use any other programs you like, Hexagon, um, Acid 3D, uh, basically any geometry changing program you can think of, Silo. Uh, wh whatever you can get your hands on. Um, I have ZBrush and Poser, which I use very often together. Uh, ZBrush gives me total control, makes it look almost, makes it feel like I'm working with clay. That's why what I like about ZBrush. So anyway, I'd like to thank you very much. This is the end of my tutorial. Uh, have a good day.